Christmas door, a symbol of union and things that have gone before, like hope and a handshake, ties that will not break, all this and so much more. The carols of Christmas flow through the air the same as in days of your hi i'm rod McEwen. i've come to spend my christmas in new england and uh, you know christmas is such a happy time and it's a time when you should really be doing something you like and that's why i'm here i've always wanted to come here for christmas and i like the idea of being around people that i care about so with me right now, I've got the St. Paul Boys Choir from Cambridge and my very special guest all the way from London, Miss Dusty Springfield. Hi, Dusty. This is a wonderful place. Isn't it? It's lovely. It's a good place to sing in. I think so. Welcome to New England. I've been having a great time here this week. I built a snowman all by myself. Today I came down the hill on the sled and fell on my uh, head. And uh, I don't know, I just, just had a, a nice time. The people are friendly. It seems like such a good place to spend the holiday season. America had her first Christmas here. So I'm glad you've joined me now. Of town, black 
Christmas down the hill Off beyond the treetops I can see them still I suppose that I knew Christmas is for little boys, not for grown-up men. Still, for a time in the year that we've just passed, I wanted you to know you gave me Christmas. Uh, we something really wonderful for you too now. It's the choir of the Archdiocese of Boston at St. Paul's in Cambridge. Nice job on this. It's not bad. It only took me three and a half hours. <laughs> hey, do you know this song? I could try it. What about this one? Don't. No, be careful with that. It's really it's fragile. I'm not kidding. Does it tick? No, it doesn't tick, but it's just fragile. Okay. It's none of your business. I'll open it later. So my sheep may safely graze. I climb the highest hill. And keep a watch out for the hawk and the howling wolf. I made a friend out of the wind, got to know the snow. So even in the winter time, my sheep may safely graze. Now? Call and come, sheep come, I'll count you one by one. One for John and one for Jacob, one for Job and one for the child who's born this morning in Bethlehem. Yes. All good shepherds watch their flocks to the lowest land mm. so that they may safely graze and never come to harm. Mm. Guarded by the harmless home, shielded by the light, mm. so that they may safely graze in far fields or at home. Call Save and come, sheep, come. I'll count you one by one. One for John and one for Jacob, one for Job and one for the child who's born this morning in Bethlehem. Watch, I'm going to do a key change. Oh, a key change. Uh, uh. La 
Last night there were soldiers on the hills above the town. And creatures in the heavens with wings of shiny gold. One of them came close to me saying, do not be afraid. A child of God was born this morning. Your shame was what? Grace. Good calling. Come, sheep, come. I'll count you one by one. One for John and one for Jacob. One for Job and one for the child who was born this morning in Bethlehem. Come, sheep, come. Watch it. I'll count you one by one. One for John and one for Jacob, one for Job and one for the child who was born this morning in Bethlehem. Here, you deserve a medal. Let's make a deal. A trifle vulgar, but it's a wonder. You all wrap the packages you put on the bows. All right. All right. Dusty, it's really cozy in here. It's a trifle warm, I must say. Did you put it in the Did you warm it? Not a whole lot warmer, I hope. It's already quite warm. Well, you know, maybe we can sort of get together. I really must go. But baby, it's cold outside. I gotta go away. But baby, it's cold outside. This evening has been. How lucky that you so dropped in. Very nice. I'll take your hands, they're just like My ice. My mother will start to worry. Beautiful, what's your hurry? My father will be pacing the floor. Listen to the fireplace roar. Sweetheart, I've got a scurry. Please, what's your hurry? Maybe just a half a drink Put more. some records on while I pour. The neighbors will think. Baby, it's bad out there. Say, what's in that drink? <laughs> no cats to be had out there. I wish I knew how. Your eyes are like starlight To break now. the spell. I'll take your hat. Your hair looks swell. I ought to say no, 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 Mind sir. if I move in closer. At least I want to say that I try. What's the use of my pride? I really must go. Oh, baby, don't hold out. Ah, oh, but, but it's cold outside. I know. I Come know. on, I, I think really on thinking about it that uh, that I'm changing my mind. Really? You're starting to look awfully good to me. Better late than never. Mm -hmm. I simply must go. The baby is cold outside. The answer is oh, no. Baby, it's cold outside. The welcome has been. How lucky that you dropped oh, in. It's my house. How nice and warm. Ah, look at the weather out there. It's a storm. My sister will be suspicious. Oh, your lips look delicious. My brother will be pacing the floor. Waves upon a tropical shore. My maiden aunt's mind is vicious. Ah, your lips are delicious. Well, maybe just a cigarette more. Never such a bliss before. I gotta get home. Ah, oh, but uh, you freeze out there. Oh, lend me your call. No, 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 it's up to your knees out there. You've really been grand. Ah, oh, lucky that you dropped in. But don't How you How can see? you do this thing to me? There's bound to be talk tomorrow. Think of my lifelong At sorrow. least there will be plenty implied. Look, you got pneumonia and die. I really can't stay. I doubt I, but it's cold outside. Well, I know a room where it's warmer. You do? Mm. <laughs> and along the way... What? You got something for me? For you. Oh, but it's beautiful. <laughs> this is really lovely. Shall I drop it now? Mm -hmm. No? No. Well, I knew you liked animals. Pretty. Particularly cats. Particularly cats. This is a little white one. Short-haired white one. You got a long-haired white one. Yeah, it's, his name is Osborne. You've seen him. I've seen a picture of him. Sure. He's beautiful. So is he. Though the gift be small and simple, if the wish is wide, just a simple gift of giving makes you warm inside. Though the thought be ever fleeting, if a 
thought at all. Remember all those mighty big things started out this small. such a crazy year this year. You can say that again. I thought it might be nice to, uh, well, it's my turn to sing. I'm going to sing something that uh, I like very much. What is it? Have yourself a merry little Christmas. Uh, I like that. Do you know the word? Well, if I don't, you'll help me. Oh, ever the optimist. <laughs> Have yourself a merry little Christmas. Let your heart be light. Next year all our troubles will be out of sight. Have yourself a merry little Christmas. Make the Yuletide gay. Next year all our troubles will be miles away. Once again, as in olden days, happy golden days of yours. Faithful friends who were dear to us will be near to us once more. Someday soon, we all may be together. If the fates allow, hang a shiny star upon the highest bough, and have yourself a merry little Christmas now. Once again, as in olden days, happy go. friends who are dear to us will be near to us once more if we pray we all may stay together that's if the fates allow until then we'll have to roll through somehow
Christmas. Yeah, it's a good time. You know, it's too bad people don't make every day Christmas. I wish it came every six months. Once again, with great pleasure, a very special friend, a very beautiful lady, and a very intelligent singer, Miss Dusty Springfield. Seems great, huh, John? Mm, yeah. Really does. Tell me, what is your favorite thing about Christmas? Well, just being together and all that. Well, with your family? Yeah. And you got a pretty nice bunch of guys you're with too. Same. Yeah. Do you travel around the the, the country much, or just? Well, not yet, anyway. But you will. Probably. Huh? That's nice. How about television? How many times have you been on television? Well, I've been on the news before, but. This is your first program. Yeah. Oh, that's great. That makes me feel good. That's good. Well, maybe you can come back on and uh, sing some more. In fact, I don't think I'm going to let you leave now without singing some more. <laughs> well, would you like to sing something else? Yeah, we're going to go sing now. Okay. How about something, uh, I don't know, something bright and, and happy? Okay? Yep. Okay, good.
Christmas seems to lead to another. They're like signposts down the years, and they sort of remind you of other holidays and other kind of happy, kinds of happy times, I guess. Um, the Christmases at our house weren't always uh, the most elegant or opulent, but at least we sort of had each other. My mother usually worked, and my stepfather wasn't around much, but uh, my brother and I found lots of ways to, to celebrate the holiday. I guess one of our favorite ways was um, going to the city dump. In fact, I wrote about that in a, in a book of mine called Finding My Father. I'd like to read it to you now, if, if I may. One Christmas Eve, one of the bartenders got drunk and couldn't report for work the next day. So Mama worked a double shift. For us, it was wonderful. We had the whole day and evening to play at the dump. It was our idea of a real Christmas. What treasures we found that day. Floor lamp, an easy chair with half the stuffing gone, an old box of somebody's discarded toys, old clothes, more bottles than we could possibly carry to the market to redeem for the meager deposit. Sometime during the afternoon, it occurred to us as a surprise for Mama to redecorate the house with the furniture and the odd bits of bric-a-brac we'd found at the dump. Billy had a red and yellow wagon, and we must have made a dozen trips lugging all our goodies home. Of course, to make room for those treasures, we had to move all the furniture and trunks already in the house out onto the lawn. While we were doing this, Someone came by and thought we were having a rummage sale. I couldn't believe it. When Billy came running in to tell me he'd been offered five dollars for Mama's dresser. Sell it, I said. In just over two hours, we were able to sell all the furniture we moved out on the lawn, plus the curtains from the windows, the pots and the pans, Mama's doilies. We even sold the oilcloth off the kitchen table for 25 cents. It'd be dark soon, so we had to complete our refurnishing before the light faded. I don't think either of us ever worked so hard. In the end, we were both so tired we fell asleep on the torn but pretty satin bedspread we replaced on Mama's bed after selling off her comforter. You can imagine her surprise when she came home from work, two long shifts serving drinks to Christmas drunks and merrymakers. Perhaps surprise is not the correct word. I'm not sure what is. Mama was too tired to spank us, but she screamed and cried a lot. Though at the time, we couldn't understand why. She had the new floor lamp. Even if it didn't work, it could be fixed. Our latest kitchen table was larger than the old one. I nearly mashed my thumb while hammering in two before and to replace one of the missing legs. It now listed a bit, but the angle wasn't so bad that the utensils and plates would slide off. The curtains were very different from the old ones. While there were only three windows in the living room, there were now more than twice that many different kinds of curtains on them. I distinctly remember Mama having said many times she'd like to get rid of the old junk in the house just for a change. Well, now she had her change. Mom did look dazed, but uh, she came to life again when she started to sit down on the new Davenport. It collapsed completely underneath her, all three sides falling away. It was then I handed her the envelope containing the money we'd received from the sale of the furniture, $71.30. It had been planned as a Christmas gift all along. Billy and I had written in crayon on the outside of the envelope, to Mama, Merry Christmas the cats and jammer kids. Mama didn't speak for a long time, but when she did, she just looked up and said, Merry Christmas. And it was. You know, times like that have made my brother and I very close. And this is a song I've ever seen for. many a winding turn 
that leads us to who knows where, who knows where. But I'm strong, strong enough to carry him. He ain't heavy. He's my brother. So on we go. His welfare is my concern He is no burden to bear We'll get there For I know He'd never end He's my brother If I'm laden At all I'm laden With sadness That everyone's heart Isn't filled With a gladness It's a long, long road From which there is no return While we're on the way there Why not share And the road It doesn't weigh me down at all He ain't heavy He's my brother He ain't heavy Cause he's my brother We could all be somebody like Dusty Springfield in every way. There'd be no need for her to sing, be somebody.
This may not seem like a Christmas song, but it is. Home is something that you carry in your head. It lives within the heart forever. And so I know, no matter where I go in life, I'm always going home. The chimney smoke, it spirals in the air. The smell of life when someone's waiting there. I carry home with me everywhere. And I'm forever heading homeward. Memories fall like pages from a book. They cloud my eyes everywhere I look. As long as life is mine for me to own, I'm always going home. Home is something that you carry in your head. It lives within the heart forever. And so I know, no matter where I go in life, I'm always going home. Believe in life, believe in life and home. Believe in love, believe in the unknown. And I believe no matter where I go, I'm always heading homeward. The summer wind, the winter's bitter chill, the autumn's cold when no one's waiting still can make a man feel lonely and alone. And so I'm going home. You know, some have said that home is a state of mind or merely a house. Uh, maybe, but I don't think so. I, I think home is a safe place where memories are rekindled, kept alive like a winter fire. The flame of that fire always seems to sustain, take care of us when we're away from the safety of places we know and people we know and favorite beds. Christmas, everything about the holiday says home. I know that Christmas isn't always a happy time for everyone, but I want you to know that whoever you are, wherever you are, somebody, somewhere, this Christmas, this bright holiday season, is thinking of you. And so I know, no matter where I go, I'm always going home. You know, it's hard to say goodbye when you've been having such a good time. And I hope you've had as good a time as we have. I think Dusty said it best of all when she said, why not have Christmas twice a year? Lots of presents. Sure. And we made a date for the 4th of July. Uh -huh. so we're going to celebrate our next Christmas. And Dusty Springfield's got to be the greatest guest anywhere. Yeah. And Thank you. Mm -hmm. It's nice. The St. Paul Boys Choir, terrific. terrific. Yeah. Why don't all of us, all of you join in too. We'll sing some traditional Christmas carols.